Welcome back to PGA Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about how to correctly twisting the wire to get this earring foam. Are you ready? Let's get started. We are going to starting at the front view and I'm going to use the circle type it zero and I'm going to make a big earring like almost like 40 millimeter. So let's go somewhere about here. And then the next thing is we need to work on the structure. So I would like to use the offset command for offset the curve and depends on how thick your wire is going to be. So I planning to off set about two millimeter at this point and let's try the aesthetically like how thick the wire should be so let's say we wanted to pipe it for something about one millimeter radius which you're going to see this is wire is completely connected right so there's no gap in between so i'm going to try something about in the diameter let's try 1.2 and see how it look and i really like this proportion so this is going to work for my design then i'm going to delete those and that's our trial now with this i'm going to keep offsetting that's going to offset the curve again and two millimeter, two millimeter and go all the way to inside. Um, I guess there's a faster way to do it, but since this is not much of a clicking, so I'm, I'm still going to just uh, click one by one. After that, we are going to draw a curve or straight line going from here. And um, I also want to snapping into the endpoint or just type it zero. And what I like to do is using those two as a trimming object. And we want to trimming this quarter of the line. And then so we have that opening right there. So now we don't need this one. Now we need to connect all of them. In between of them, you can use the arc if you like to. Or you can simply just using the blend command. I'm going to blend the in between here and here. And then instead of going on the second one to the third one, I'm jumping one in between. So I get this connected here and I got this connected here. And we will continue to do until the very last one. Now with this one, if we connect this, then they will be separate. So we are actually jumping from the second one to the third one as our first blend. So I'm going to blend in between here and here and here and here and here and here. Here and here. And very last one, go from this one to this one. All right, so now they become one single curve if you join them together. All right, so the the problem is if I just pipe it this one, and let's say I'm going to pipe and pipe it with the diameter for 1.2, and this is what we get. But don't forget this is still flat, right? So in order to make them twist, and you can use the twist command, and you're gonna go the whole thing from, so for example, from this point to the this point, and then you wanna twist 180 degree, for example. All right, it look all right. And let's take a look on the render view. As you can see, some of the area here, it's become really, really pointed. It's because the twisting, not only it changed the direction, it also changed the thickness when you are twisting. So now the thickness is not consistent, right? And I won't do in this way. I actually would like to twist my wire first and pipe it later so I can make sure it is consistent thickness. So let's do this. I'm going to select everybody and we are going to use the twist command. I'm going to snapping at the end point here and also snapping to the quadrant there. Coming into the top view, I want to rotate it 180 degree. So then I will see something like this. You see, this is really, really smooth, right? It still is a continual line. And so I'm going to use the pipe command and we're going to pipe it 1.2 millimeter in diameter. Then we will get consistent. Right. Be really careful if you have something is getting too narrow and is overlapping, you might need to, let's see, 
this one is the result. You get it overlapping like this. You might need to fix the curve, uh, go back with the twist. So what I mean is we're going to go back with a step coming over here because that is the part is rotated a lot. So it, those two has some problem right there. So in this case, I would like to pick up this one, just make it a little bit lower. And the other two doesn't have much of the problem. It's this one has the problem. Maybe this one I want to just gradually to lower them a little bit. All right, so let's do it one more time. Again, we're going to select everybody coming into the front view. And I'm going to use the twist command, snapping into here, coming into the quadrant, rotate it 180 degree. And then so we'll get something like this. So now you can see this is not as pointed. So we can give it a try. That's using the pipe command. The same diameter for 1.2 millimeter. And then we will solve the problem of, of the overlapping over there. Once you are done, you can decide how you like this going to the ear. And for the earring pulse, I'm going to go a straight line coming over here for 11 millimeter. And then uh, usually it's 20 gauge, so we want to pipe it for the diameter 0.81 and hit enter. And that will be your earring pulse. If you like everything, you can bowling it, um, but make sure that uh, both sides of the earring, they are in the mirror image instead of a rotate. So we want to use mirror here. Then this is, will be our twisting wire earring. If you like this trick, consider joining the membership. I have a lot more secret and the tip I share with the member only. So click on the button below to join us for more Rhino 3D model for jewelry. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.